Hello and welcome to our Peekaboo 104 video. The Peekaboo 104 is our most popular prop controller. It's very similar to our 103 except that it also has 2 minutes of sound and a 30 watt amplifier. So we've got the uh, two 10 amp relays here. Same as the 103, we have normally closed and normally open contacts on each relay. Uh, we have our trigger connector and speaker connector. So push buttons or motion sensors can connect here and a typical just unpowered speaker would connect here like from a, like a car speaker or any, any speaker that doesn't have an amplifier inside. We've got our line in connector here. This is where we connect our source of audio when we're recording audio into the unit. It's typically a CD player or an iPod or a computer. This is our volume control for an amplifier. And we have our speaker output if you prefer to use powered speakers like a huge amplifier or just typical computer speakers, which we're actually using to demo the unit now. We have our record button, our output buttons, record light and output lights, and our trigger light, which indicates the status of our trigger. So I'm going to show you how to uh, go through a quick prop programming, basically. First we'll record our sound, and then we'll record the animation. So first thing we do is connect our sound up here. Let me zoom out. This audio cable is actually connected to my iPod here. This is a jack that connects to these two powered uh, computer speakers right here. And now, when we press play on our sound, you'll actually be able to hear it come through the speakers a little bit. So this sounds kind of like a little lullaby. We're gonna use this as our ambient sound. The ambient sound just loops over and over in the 104, so uh, you usually pick a sound that kind of creates an eerie atmosphere that uh, prepares them for the scare that's coming up. So to record the ambient sound, we hold the record button and then tap the one button to start the recording. So I'm going to hold record and then I'm going to press play on this sound and then one on this at the same time. So there we go. Our sound is now recording into the sound chip in the unit. So we'll let that record for another 12 seconds or so. You always have to record the ambient sound first when you're doing your sounds, and then after that you record your scare sound. There we go. <laughs> so we stopped the recording here. It's fine if this played on. We already stopped our recording here. Now we'll record our scare sound. So to do that, you hold the record and then tap 2. So I've got a laugh sound here, we'll just use that for demonstration purposes. I'm holding record, I'm going to tap play on the next sound and then 2 at the same time. <laughs> sometimes you have to fiddle. You have to fiddle with the volume sometimes on different sources to get the best uh, quality. Sometimes. Uh, you know, a little bit lower will sound good, a little bit higher, it depends. If you have too much static in the background, try and go a little bit higher with your sound. If it sort of sounds distorted coming through your speakers, then try and lower the volume a little bit. So once you find the sweet spot, it'll sound pretty good. Uh, okay, so we're done with our audio now. If you want to preview your audio before you, uh, you know, disconnect all your stuff, you can just press the one or two button without pressing record. If you press one, the ambient sound will play. So that's coming out of the sound chip in the unit. You can press it again to stop it. If you want to preview your scare sound, <laughs> you can press that one. So, there we go. We're done with recording our sounds. So I'm going to take this out. The peekaboo knows we've now removed our audio cord. So it's automatically started looping our ambient sound. And it'll just do this forever until the unit gets triggered. So what we're going to do is we're going to record our scare animation now. So to do that, you basically just hit record and then start animating the outputs and uh, then that's basically it. Pretty much that simple. First thing I'm going to do before I do that is uh, disconnect this pluggable terminal block and connect some outputs just to make this a little more interesting. Push our speakers back here. So I just got two lights connected to this. One light is connected to the normally closed output, so this light will actually be on all the time, and this light is connected to the normally open output, so that one will be on only when we press a button. 
I'm gonna plug this extension cord in, this light will turn on. There we go. So now, once I press record, our scare sound that we recorded will immediately start playing, and then we would animate whatever we want to uh, happen with our outputs here. So let's pretend this was a room, and the lights are on when they walk in. We want the lights to shut off, and then this could be a, you know, an air blaster. It could represent anything. Anything that, that could be controlled with an electrical switch could be controlled with these outputs here. So it could be an air cannon or something a little more interesting than just this light. So I'll press record, light turns off, and then trigger our scare a couple times. And that's it. Now when we trigger it, it'll play that back perfectly. You can repeat the recording process over and over as many times as you want until you get it just right. That's pretty much it. That's how you set up a peekaboo. I'll show you a couple other things. If you want to trigger it automatically, pull this out. I've got a uh, trigger wired up as well as a speaker here. So as you can see, let me turn that down a bit. This is our amp volume. This is just a normal, typical car speaker. This is connected to the speaker output here. I'll shut our, power, our computer speakers right off. So if you prefer, you can use a speaker like this to make the sound. Oops. I've also got a uh, trigger connected to the button here. Once you trigger the, the button, it'll play back our scare. It goes back to the ambient. Oh, goes back to the ambient once it's done the scare. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'll show you one other tip. A lot of people like to write protect their units so that someone can up, come up and hit the record button by mistake and erase their stuff. To do that, just hold the number two button, plug your unit back in. Record light blinks a couple times. Now when you press record to do animation or even in the audio section, nothing works. If you want to turn the right protect off so that you can change your program again, just repeat the process, hold number two, record light blinks. Now we can record another scare. There you go. That's our demo of the Peekaboo 104. Thanks for watching.